Hello, my awesome and amazing Scorpios. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. If you are an amazing Scorpio born on November 2nd, then this reading might be for you. So for those of you Scorpios that celebrated your birthday on November 2nd, I sincerely hope your day was as magical as you are in that um, you set your intentions for your new birthday year. So, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and dive into the energy of this reading, calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpios, who are born on November 2nd, to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, through the power of the numbers, and so it is. Got the power of number 10. And by the way, this is an audio recorded reading, uh, of course. Um, I am on vacation. It's my birthday week. I uh, celebrated my birthday on November 16th. So um, I'm out of town for a few days and I forgot my card stand uh, to be able to show the cards. So whether you're driving or taking a walk or, you know, listening to this while you're falling asleep, um, again, my apologies, but. Uh, it seems to, I don't know, every time I do an audio reading, um, the videos upload faster, <laughs> which I really like, instead of having to wait hours upon hours uh, through YouTube uh, to get the information loaded. So anyway, but enjoy your reading. So we have the power of number 10 that came up. Power of number nine, I got a five and a four. And power of number eight. Wow. 10, 9, 8. Some, something in the energy that's working backwards. Maybe you feel like everything is falling backwards for you right now, Scorpio, instead of moving forward. But adding up the numbers brings me to the number 27. Some of you Scorpios born on November 2nd could be dealing with a Libra or a Scorpio born in the month of October. However, the number 10 can also represent the Wheel of Fortune, which can also represent the fixed signs of the Zodiac. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Taurus, a Leo, again, maybe another Scorpio. Power of number nine, you may be dealing with a Virgo or a Libra born in the month of September. With the number eight, you could also be dealing with a Leo or a Virgo born in the month of August. And there's a number seven out of the 27. And so the way the numbers are lining up from how I wrote them out, um, so it goes 10, 9, 8, 7. So you could also be dealing with a Cancerian or a Leo born in the month of July. However, you could also be dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces born in the month of February. Power of number zero out of the 10 can represent the sign of Aries because that would be considered the Fool card in tarot. You may also be dealing with the number one that's out of the 10. You could be dealing with a Gemini, a Virgo, or an Aries because uh, that can represent the Magician card. However... You may also be dealing with a Capricorn or an Aquarius born in the month of January. Seeing the power of number 19, that strong Leo energy that could come in through the sun card along with power of number 18. Again, you could be dealing with a Cancerian that would represent the moon card and also number 17, strong Aquarius energy, and that could represent the star card. Now, power of number 12, when I add the one and the two out of the 27, number 12 can represent the sign of Pisces because that would be the hanged man card. However, you could also be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Capricorn born in the month of December for some of you. You could have been born in 1970, 1971, 1972, 1978, or 1979. You could have been born in 1980, 1981, 1982, 1987, or possibly 1989. You could have also been born in 1990, 1991, 1992, 1997, or possibly 1998. You could be 20, 21, 27, 28, or even maybe 29 years of age. Okay. So, oh, and let's not forget, I see with the number seven out of the 27, you could have been born in 1970, 1971, 1972, 1978, 1979. So if I'm repeating myself, this happens all the time when I see all the numbers and the combinations and so forth. So, but without further ado, my awesome Scorpio is born on November 2nd. Let's go ahead and dive into the energy power of number 27, number 27, one, two, three, four, five, six, 
six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, and 27. Okay. <clears throat> Working with the Game of Thrones deck, and I will also be using possibly the Kipper deck along with the Romance Angels cards and also the Hidden Truth Oracle if I feel the need to. Okay. Trusted ancestors of my Scorpios born on November 2nd. What is the overall general collective message, please? What do they need to know at this time frame? Show me what's up. The Empress. This could be about you rising to the top of your personal career and your success right now, uh, Scorpio. There could also be issues with a mother figure, or maybe some of you are currently pregnant right now. This can also talk about growth, expansion, uh, new creative ideas, creative pursuits, standing in your true authentic power. So whether you're a masculine and or a feminine Scorpio, the Empress energy can also represent as well Emperor energy. Okay, so you may also be gaining new respect from people. Or there are people that do respect you, even if they haven't said anything verbally to you. So we're going to see how this Empress energy is coming in. And some of you could be dealing with a Pisces or an Aries born in the month of March. You could also be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus because Libra and Taurus energy, traditionally speaking, can come through the Empress card. But it is card number three. So Aries and Pisces energy runs throughout the month of March. Okay, so Queen of Swords. Mm, somebody's got some harsh words or maybe you had to dish it out to someone, Scorpio, or maybe somebody was dishing out their personal thoughts or opinions. But I'm picking up some strong jealousy that's going on. So whether this person who is in the Queen of Swords mode could be masculine and or feminine, um, you could be dealing with an air sign right now, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um Somebody is looking at you, I feel, with the evil eye, to be honest with you. The way the Queen of Swords is looking in the direction of the Empress. Somebody feels inferior to you. Hmm. That's some heavy energy. Um, <laughs> there could be a parent that is highly jealous of you. Listen, you guys, this happens all the time where parents get jealous of their own children. You could be dealing with narcissistic, toxic mother or father figure right now, or just friends or family members. But somebody is, I feel, giving you the evil eye. Let's see what this Queen of Swords is bringing in. The tower. Woo. Wow. The tower card representing the queen of swords. Hello. Oh my God. Uh, you could be dealing with another Scorpio or an Aries. Those two zodiac signs can come through the, ter uh, through the tower card. Wow. Man, oh man. Somebody wants to see you come to your demise, Scorpio. They don't want you to succeed. They don't want you to have a foundation. And this person is horrible. Whoever this person is or a group of people, but I see it as one singular person. Right now, you know, in the tower card with the Game of Thrones deck, there's a lone wolf looking at the mountain, you know, looking at the mountain. But it, it's a mountain in the card, but... You know, obviously it's the tower card, but you could feel like you're a lone wolf right now. And somebody doesn't want to see you succeed. They want you to come to your demise. They don't want you to grow. They don't want you to change or they don't like the glow up that you're exuding right now. It's horrible. 
makes me want to dive deeper into this person's thoughts about you, Scorpio. This could be a former lover. Some of you could be in a same-sex relationship, female and female, man and man, heterosexual relationship as well, of course, but I'm also picking up that whoever is in this Queen of Swords mode is really trying to block you from moving forward. They don't like your glow up. I just keep hearing that. They do not like your glow up despise I'm hearing the word despise somebody despises you clarifying the tower wow the ace of coins holy cow spirits <sighs> you know we're still technically in Scorpio season for a few more days. And it doesn't feel like it's all the time, but I feel like Spirit's giving me a revelation here. You know, Scorpio energy, we are all about the change and transformation. And when we get back into our own zodiac house, the eighth house, it's the eighth house of the zodiac, eight is a very powerful number. Eight is infinity. Eight is also a money number. But we are in the house of transformation. And I feel like we are back in our personal empowerment when we are in our true zodiac house. To where in our mind or emotional heart space that we could feel energetically revitalized where we're ready to expand and grow and harness this moment in time or harness this energy. And yet somebody here is trying to block you. So what I would say is put up your walls of spiritual protection. Somebody doesn't want you to get to this ace of coins. They're jealous They may not be doing a physical, we'll say, energy working on you. People can just send mental thoughts, you guys. This is the reason why we have to make our subconscious mind our number one priority. Because our subconscious mind is connected to the divine. It is connected to the 5D reality. We're, we're physical human being living this 3D matrix of what we are seeing with our physical eyes, but our spiritual eyes knows different. Hearing the word navigation, spirit is trying to navigate you through your intuition, what your body's feeling, how you feel about things, how you feel about your environment, the thoughts that are ruminating through your mind right now. But somebody here, I feel, is trying to block your success or try to tear you down from getting into this Ace of Coins because this Ace of Coins energy can talk about marriage, a major offer, a large sum of money, your personal uh, financial stability, becoming a millionaire, a billionaire. I mean, and the Ace of Coins can also talk about family, can also bring in pregnancy. There could be somebody who is jealous of you that is childbearing that could be jealous of you because you have children. I'm not going to rule this out. I heard it. Somebody feels jealous that you have been rewarded with being able to conceive children and somebody is also jealous that they are childless. So if you're going through a situation like this, this person is highly envious of you. 
This person feels like you haven't worked hard enough for everything that you have at this moment. They feel in their mind like everything has fallen into your lap when you know for damn well, fact, Scorpio, that has not been the case. I do feel that you have had, you know, some serendipity type of moments where, you know, you've paid off your karmic debt. You know, you've learned your lessons throughout life. You're trying to think clear, have knowledge, wisdom, resources, and using the knowledge <clears throat> as power, but using it in an effective way in order to take action towards what it is that you want. But somebody here still does not want you to have this ace of coins. Or they don't want you to be in a relationship or there could be a mother figure that is trying to block you from having personal happiness or success in a relationship. Could be a mother-in-law. Message from the Ace of Coins. Wow, death card. Yeah, sign of Scorpio coming in. You know, you might have needed to put this person on the spot or tell them your thoughts. Somebody here is dealing with a narcissist. Whoever this Queen of Swords is. But again, somebody wants to see you come to your demise. They don't want you to grow. They don't want you to shift. They don't want you to change the death card again. Scorpio energy, we're in Scorpio season. I really don't, uh, I don't like this energy. It's making me pissed off, to be honest. But somebody here knows the truth, and it's you, Scorpio, who knows the truth. You probably had to put somebody in their place, or you had to stand up. You were probably trying to be the good-hearted, good-natured person. And you could have felt like enough is enough. You got to mind yourself. In tarot terms, the empress is higher than any queen and or king. Same for the emperor. The emperor is higher than any king and or queen. Somebody in truth now is is egotistical as this could sound. Somebody needs to bow down and kiss your feet for once. That's what I'm hearing. Because you could have had to suck up to this person or try to be a people pleaser all of your life and for what what did you get out of it for you you could have gotten more trauma out of the situation and could have still been a people pleaser trying to you know bend to everybody's will but now it's like no the tables have got to get turned here but somebody still is trying to block or down talk on you or sending sending you the evil eye that's what i feel Clarifying the sign of Scorpio through the death card. Wow, the moon. Holy freaking cow. Oh my God, the deception. This person is a backstabber. I'll tell you that right now. I don't need to see no, <laughs> I don't need to see no ten of swords. This person, I'm hearing the statement, my eyes are shifting back and forth between moon and then the sign of Scorpio with the death card back to the queen of swords. They're a downright liar. This person is horrible. This could even be a boss figure that has been really giving you a hard time at work. Jealous of your intelligence, jealous of your wisdom, jealous of your looks, jealous of your bright ideas. Because in truth, the Empress, the Empress card may be facing the Queen of Swords right here in front of me, but in truth, the eye level of the Empress is going above the throne of the Queen of Swords, overlooking what this Queen of Swords has to say. Not that that's bad. It's just, no, somebody here, if you feel like you are in this Empress or Emperor mode, Scorpio, you're trying to look past the horizon of this narcissistic attitude, behavior, 
trying to keep your eye on the prize of this ace of coins to go through the transformation but there is a lot of talk or deception going on behind the scenes. People don't like either don't like your success or where you're headed or even if you haven't reached millionaire, billionaire status, but you went through hell and back. They thought you were going to some of them thought that these friends or family members thought that you were going to go running back to them with your tail between your legs. Maybe begging them. An empress does not beg. An empress is somebody who has worked their way up with integrity and truthfulness and honesty. That's the type of characteristic I'm seeing here. But there is an evil eye going on here with this queen of swords. Show me the moon, trusted ancestors. Wow, enter the dragon, the chariot. This, this is all about forward movements. Again, as I'm I'm seeing it black and white, you guys, somebody is trying to block you. Block you from moving forward. Some of you are again are dealing with um, a Cancerian or a Leo born in the month of July. Again, Cancerian energy through the moon card, Scorpio energy through the death card, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn through the ace of coins, Scorpio and Aries energy through the tower, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini through the queen of swords, and again, Pisces, Aries, Libra, Taurus through the empress. You're supposed to move on, Scorpio, or move to a new environment, or spirit could be encouraging you to move to a place of peace where there's victory and success because somewhere in the grand scheme of it all, for some of you guys, your environment is not doing you any good because of what I'm feeling here with the jealousy. With this tower in front of the Ace of Coins, this Queen of Swords is trying to bring a tower moment to break you down. Again, it could be friends, family members, a lover. Show me the chariot, trusted ancestors. Yeah, exactly. Five of Coins. You know, remember how I just, okay, Five of Coins, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy. What do we know about the Five of Coins? Well, the Five of Coins is a begging, a begging energy goes entirely back to what I said that these people should be kissing and bowing down, kissing your feet, trying to people please you. And it could very well be true that once you reach this chariot energy and get past the fog, I'm going to call it the fog of the moon card, the fog of the deception, the lies, the betrayal, um, the gab, gossiping, whispering, the shady dealings or hidden agendas. Um, once you get past that fog, you're in the chariot mode, but then you go on to this victory and success. Yet the tables could turn where these people are begging you for forgiveness. But I think honestly, Scorpio, at that point in the ballgame, it's too late. It's too late for them. Wow, I've got one, two, three, four, five major arcanas. Empress, Tower, Ace of Coins, the Death Card, Moon Card, Chariot. Let me count that again. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Empress, Tower, Death, Moon, Chariot, five. Five is a number of either great conflict or great change. One major... Uh, court card queen of swords one major ace see the ace is about all aces represent a yes whether the situation is negative and or positive but as i always say about the aces winner winner chicken dinner and maybe sometimes a steak and lobster dinner see somebody doesn't want you to have your steak and lobster dinner scorpio whoever this person is they are vital They're dirt. Whoever is sending you the bad juju, bad eye, whatever, evil eye. 
listen, this person can't compare to you. And we always need to, every day, use your shower or your bath time as a spiritual cleansing. Ask your trusted ancestors to infuse your bath water and the water that comes out of the shower head to put their power, put their energy into it as a helping hand. You work in conjunction with your trusted ancestors, your spirit guides, your guardian angels to always keep you safe and protected at all times from enemies known and unknown in the physical world and the spiritual world. Somebody didn't want you to see them for who they were. Now it's like you know. Looking at the character of Arya in the death card, she's holding her sword and ready to <clears throat> show somebody what 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 is what. Not a physical death. It's something about standing up for yourself. Because again, somebody called somebody out on something. Massive jealousy. These people have created a lot of chaos and mental confusion. If that moon card wasn't here between the death and the chariot, I'd be like, okay, you're going to be able to make it your way through. You'll still be able to make your way through, but you're going to have to really see through the fog. Put your brights on, Scorpio. Because you're supposed to go from Empress. Empress into this massive chariot mode. Take that Ace of Coins energy with you. It's your success, your personal success. Somebody doesn't, it, in a job situation I'm picking up, somebody does not want you to elevate to a higher level. And let's just say, for example, you did get a higher level position. Somebody's pissed off at you in your work environment that you got some recognition or accolade yet this person I feel is also talking smack about you behind your back at work. Something about crocodile tears. Somebody is disgustingly sweet to you at work and you may see right through this person. I'm going into the Kipper deck. It's like the audacity of this person. trying to dim your light. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight cards from the Kipper deck, all face down. Trusted ancestors, show me the overall energy of the Empress for those Scorpios born on November 2nd, please, through the Kipper deck. Show me what's up. Occupation. The occupation card, card number 34. Some of you guys could be 34 years of age, or you could be 43. I could turn the numbers around in that direction. Somebody is jealous of you and your occupation. Some of you could be fashion designers. I'm picking up fashion designing. A lot of you guys work so damn hard for where you've where you've gotten. Who is this Queen of Swords to Scorpio? Bad health. Somebody who's not mentally well 
or they are toxic that bring bad juju, they could have literally bad health. Who knows? But the thing is, you could also be 31 years old. Um, this person could also complain a lot. Or somebody who tries to get the one up on you, Scorpio, like their pain, their ailments, the things that they've gone through was so much harder, so much more difficult, etc. This person, whoever's in the uh, Queen of Swords mode, is very insecure. Very insecure. What is the tower? The lovers. So there is a love situation is going on as well. But somebody is also trying to block your happiness. <clears throat> this can also be a karmic. Somebody that you were in love with, Scorpio, that you have rose above this person that you were in love with, but they could be dealing with a third party. This, this third party person, they're not mentally stable. They're insecure. They could definitely know about you. What is the uh, Ace of Coins, please? Wow, spirits. Thank you so much. Wow, there's an energy here that's matching up. Power of number 27, which the numbers today were 10, 9, 8, <clears throat> which equaled up to the number 27. 27 in the Kipper deck is the unexpected income card. So this you are supposed to get either a large sum of money or there's a handout or there could be something here about family inheritance Somebody could be trying to steal your family inheritance or block you, write you off on the will. This could be a grandparent. But there's jealousy. There's, there's an undertone of jealousy going on. Some of you need to start doing family trees because in this coin in the unexpected income there's a royal figure on it some of you guys are related to kings and queens start doing your research somebody was supposed to give you some money or they're lying about money you could have loaned some money out to somebody and they're lying about where the money went or how they used it, et cetera, because there is a deception card. So I can look at the situation from so many different angles. That's Toto. Uh, I'm at the hotel right now. So anyway, um, this person, somebody here wanted you to beg them for a handout or to keep you stuck or trapped or manipulated or underneath their thumb for helping you out. And then when you rose to the top of your profession or success, now this is for some of you, not all of you, but and if you need to twist the storyline around a little bit in your mind in order to fit your circumstance and then use the right words in your mind, okay? They... Somebody here did not want you to thrive or grow. They always wanted you to come to them because that means that that person wanted to always be in the spotlight, wanted to be the star of the show. But it's like for those of you who got yourself up, went through hell and back, became the phoenix rising up out of the ashes to get to where you need to be and and you could have even paid this person back. Let's just say you borrowed some money, Scorpio, and let's say you paid this person back and you didn't need their help anymore. It's like they resented you for not wanting to ask them for help. Instead of wanting you to see yourself thriving and growing and succeeding, it's like you became bigger. Something in your energy is becoming bigger than this person who is in the Queen of Swords. Somebody thinks that you owe them everything or that your success is all due to them, which is absolutely ridiculous. And even if you ask this person in this scenario, had asked them for help, you gave them back the money, let's just say, okay. 
And you said, thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. I'm back on my feet. They could have smiled in your face, but still felt some kind of resentment because I have lies and deception going on. I have, listen, I have the only in truth emotional card just yet. Anything that shows me emotion, empathy, sweetness, kindness, and goodness is coming from the Empress. Everything else is of an earthly energy and also verbal energy, air element, because there's deception. Somebody feels that you still owe them something when in truth you could have paid this person off and said, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Man, oh man, times were tough, you know, and yet even if this person said, oh yeah, I always knew you were going to make it. There's a resentment that's going on here. Whoever this person is, Scorpio, they are toxic to your health. This is a person that could have gaslit you, <clears throat> talked behind your back, wanted to see you come to your demise. Show me the death card, trusted ancestors. What is this? Sudden wealth. Wow. Sudden wealth card. So if some of these scenarios in truth are not exactly your story, Scorpio, which we know how general collective readings go, but the bottom line. Somebody either did not want you to get your inheritance. They did not want to see you level up in your career or success. They didn't want to see you get some kind of family inheritance. Somebody could have wrote you off on a family inheritance and you didn't even know it because there's deception here. Something is owed to you because of this unexpected income. Picking up that there was a grandfather that passed away. For some of you, maybe more so recently. They didn't want, this person in the Queen of Swords did not want to see you go through this metamorphosis, this change. Because it's like spirit is rewarding you for your past karma, your karmic debt, your karmic, you know, the things that you have energetically paid off through doing things the right way, Scorpio. And being tried, tried and true to your code, being truthful, authentic, transparent. Somebody is envious of your future success. Maybe they know that you haven't gotten to the success level that you're, you know, want to be in right now. But it's almost like they can intuitively feel that it's coming in your direction and they can't stand that. Wow, the moon card, a mess. Okay, so the moon is being clarified by the message card, card number seven. Some of you could be 27 years old. Some of you are dealing with a Capricorn, picking up on Gemini and Cancerian energy strongly again through this Kipper Lovers card. And with the power of number 11, yes, Livy Scorpios, meaning you, the one that's born on November 2nd, just trying to get my words out here. Uh, you could also be dealing with the Sagittarius born at the latter part of November. However, it's also about justice. Card number 11 in tarot in the major arcana is justice. Something about what is right. Something that is right or justice or fair. Nothing can break down the walls of justice. But it is about the truth. Power number 11 is about the truth and it's about balance. And it is a strong archetype number. Especially when we think about the 1111 twin flame soulmate connection. But the message card, you could be receiving a deceptive message within the next seven days. Fair warnings forearmed. You may or may not want to respond to this person because it could just be all talk, somebody talking smack. Again, it's a message card that means it's communication and it clarifying the moon that somebody is talking behind your back in a highly negative way because they didn't want to see you succeed. What is the chariot trusted ancestors? The journey card. Wow, spirits, man, oh man, are these energies and the numbers just left, like just adding up here? The journey card. As I had said with the chariot, 
spirit could be trying to push you out of your comfort zone, Scorpio, to, to move somewhere else. Somewhere where it's going to be more beneficial. If you have children, a better environment, better school environment. Maybe if you, if you don't move out of state or move across the country or move into another country, either way, somebody wanted to stop you from being on your personal journey towards growth and success. But there's also this other message that it's time to move on from these people or this person who has created in some way, shape or form, some massive havoc People who send you the evil eye. I mean, you know, you guys, there's only so many hours in the day that we can't control everything. But what we can control is our personal power and how we continue to keep moving forward. You know, if the romantic department of your life is not exactly at the forefront right now, then you better damn well make sure that you are keeping your personal goals, your dreams, your success, your number one focal point right now, and you keep moving forward, whether you have kids or no kids. The bottom line is the example that you set, if you have children, the example to keep pushing forward will be a perfect example to your children. They will learn from that, that no matter what you're faced with, you keep on keeping on no matter what. But there is a journey here. This could talk about a spiritual journey, the spiritual wake up, a physical journey. There could also be a long distance relationship that's going on. And somebody here is also being very sneaky and deceptive behind the scenes, probably making promises to you that they're not going to keep. Because they could be dealing with a third party. What is this five of coins, trusted ancestors through the Kipper deck, the courthouse? It's very much like the justice or judgment card energy. It's about the truth. The truth is some of these narcissistic, <clears throat> excuse me, toxic people or family members wanted to see you down on your luck. And you were supposed to get, for some of you guys, a massive large sum of money which may need to be taken to a court situation or is in a court situation at this moment. But something about the truth, victory and success. And the other truth of it is you don't need this person or these other individuals in your life because they're only going to continue to keep blocking you, bring in a tower moment. There can also be... Um, an unexpected message because I can take any of these cards and create new storylines, new messages, but that would take forever. So there can also be unexpected communication from a particular lover that comes in out of the blue that you're not expecting, but the message card is clarifying the moon card, some kind of deceptiveness. So for example, Let's say your life has started to move on. You're working through your trauma. You're working in on your personal success. You had to release and let go of certain things, even though you did not, for some of you guys, get the verbal closure that you needed from someone specific. Okay. Now, for example, as well, which I forgot to mention, is that the Queen of Swords can also represent very much similar to the King of Swords, can represent somebody who is widowed and or divorced, just FYI. So you could also be dealing with an ex-husband. You could also be dealing with an ex-wife for some of you. Either way, this Queen of Swords, whoever you identify this Queen of Swords with in your energy and in your environment, is not mentally stable. They have bad toxic energy, bad health, bad juju. They may be trying to play a game of manipulation to think that you're trying to take them for everything that you have when this occupation card is showing me 
that somebody's putting their nose to the grindstone, like you're not going to give up, Scorpio. And there could have been many times that you have fallen to the ground, fallen to your knees in despair, wondering how the hell you were going to make it, put food on the table, pay your electric bill, your car bill, all of this stuff, right? Somebody, <clears throat> somebody could also strip you, strip you of your abundance or what was owed to you. But at the end of the day, as my eyes shift over to this courthouse card, truth and victory will always remain supreme. And as long as you fight for the truth, Scorpio, or stand in your truth, who the hell could really go up against you? Despite all of this 3D chaotic bullshit energy going on. But somebody here did want to block you. They don't like you. They do not like you. Whoever this person is, I like you. But this person is highly insecure. Trusted ancestor, show me again through the Queen of Swords and this bad health why they want to see Scorpio come to their demise or sending them the bad eye, the bad juju. The Emperor. Wow. Well, probably there's numerous messages I'm getting from this. The first thought I had was this person does not want to see you with the right partner. This could be a covert or grandioso narcissistic mother figure or a mother-in-law that tried to block their son from you or you're already together with this mother-in-law's son and she is creating a lot of massive havoc. What can I say? I'm hearing the line from the Wizard of Oz when Glinda says to the Wicked Witch, be gone before somebody drops a house on you. Mm-hmm. There is jealousy, but the emperor also clarifying the queen of swords as somebody who is highly controlling and manipulative, who wants it their way. And if things are not done their way, this person becomes a tyrant. But I also feel here, too, that somebody does not want to see you happy. Somebody is jealous. This could be like, quote, unquote, a girlfriend of somebody's here. Like a best friend, girlfriend. That does not want to see you be happy. Or it could very well be true, Scorpio, that you might have met the person of your dreams. Somebody does not want to see you be a power couple with this soulmate. For some of you, she is jealous of your relationship, your success, or this could be a guy. Doesn't matter. Okay. Show me the emperor. Judgment. Wow. 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 This could be a karmic third party that does not want to see you with your divine counterpart. Or have this person that you've been in love with, Scorpio, to return back to you in order to have true divine union. Judgment card can talk about reconciliation. So this person, this karmic third party, is very toxic, narcissistic, and massively, like I said, insecure. But this could be a mother figure, family member, again, mutual friend, somebody in a group of friends. It doesn't matter. There's a very strong, influential person that is narcissistic, insecure, and highly judgmental. 
This can be a judgmental mother figure that judges you on every single move you make, every single choice that you make, male or female, doesn't matter. This person or these people have thrown shade on your name. They need to go. Maybe they do need a house dropped on them. This person, when you think about it, judgment is about a revitalization, being raised up, quote, unquote, from the dead. And it's interesting because we have the death card. Somebody wanted to see you come to your demise. But again, with judgment, that metamorphosis, using a metaphor here, the metamorphosis of you being that little caterpillar in that cocoon, Scorpio, where you felt weak, tired, exhausted, didn't know whether or not you could go the distance. Again, you could have reached out for help for some, you know, somebody to help you out in the meantime. But somebody feels now that they, that you owe them everything or that because of now your personal success that you owe all of the, at, like all of the accolade to this person when in truth they could have done something very simple, maybe gave you a couple hundred bucks and you paid it back. But that does not make it rightfully so that this person is owed all of the accolade for where you currently stand right now they're full of bullshit show me judgment yeah exact wow 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 another round of new messages nine of coins coming in taurus virgo capricorn energy coming in Somebody did not want to see you stand on your own two feet again, Scorpio. Whoever this person is, they got to go. They got to go. And this person, we can, again, looking at the Queen of Swords, could be a toxic karmic third-party person that is very feel, fearful of being single, especially since... It could very well be true that this divine counterpart that's coming in as the emperor, okay, coming in as the emperor, wants to return back to you, or maybe this karmic knows, but yet at the same time, this person that you were so in love with could have talked shit about you, Scorpio, to this karmic. I'm not going to rule that out. Because of the fact, moon card's here with also the message card. But what's interesting is that the emperor is looking in the direction of the empress. And what's interesting too, again, you have to look at placement of cards and what's going on beyond the cards and the messages. The queen is dominating over the emperor. And in truth, because of the bad health, because I'm picking up that this person is not mentally stable, okay, they are playing mind games or mind control games with this emperor. But again, it's jealousy. Something is boiling down to jealousy because you are able to stand on your own two feet again. And this is what this Queen of Swords did not want to see happen for you. Somebody here wanted you to come to your demise, to always be stuck, to always be staying in the Five of Pentacles mode without anything being stripped. Like I said, put up your walls of protection. Use your cleansing time when you take your shower, take your bath, bath time, whatever. Call on your trusted ancestors. <clears throat> Some of the uh, essential oils that you can use for protection besides sage, uh, you could do basil oil. Um, you can also do, they might even have like, um, like a dragon's blood oil. Rue, rue is a, uh, if they have rue oil, essential oil, um, clary sage is great. Lavender, don't forget about lavender. Lavender is a very protective uh, spiritual herb, um, that can protect chamomile can also be protective. Um, 
Cinnamon is also a little bit of touch of cinnamon oil, but you got to be careful because cinnamon can be a little bit, um, but if it's dissolved in the water, like the bath water, I wouldn't do like more than, you know, maybe one to three drops of cinnamon oil uh, in your bathtub uh, water, just because um, you can even use like a, a, a cinnamon um, bath soap. They have it that's fairly mild. Um, Rosemary, don't forget about rosemary oil, exceptionally protective. In fact, the negative spirits don't like rosemary. They shy away from it. Um, so, uh, yeah, the bad spirits, um, basically, they, they don't like rosemary. It will definitely deter it. Um, however, like I said, keep, you know, light a white candle for yourself for protection every now and then. This isn't to scare anybody. The bottom line is that there's somebody here that doesn't like you, Scorpio, and this is not your fault. This is their own insecurity, okay? And somebody didn't want you to have something or get to your success or see you stand on your own two feet. They didn't want to see you charge ahead. Maybe you made the choice to move or you're going to be making the choice to move to get out of this confusion, delusional energy to live a different life and to be at peace. There is nothing better in this life to have peace of mind, peace of heart. And it is a very difficult task at times to feel like we can get to that level of peace of mind, peace of heart, because we're always, you know, sometimes in this 3d reality, we're always feeling like we're dodging something. You know what I mean? Dodging the bad negative energies or the bad juju. But I'm telling you this person, you know, you might want to even consider investing in an evil eye bracelet. I highly recommend you do. I wear two of them. So, or a necklace, you can get an evil eye necklace, bless it, anoint it. Ask your trusted ancestors to put their infuse, help to infuse their energy on your bracelet, your necklace, okay? Because I do definitely recommend it. I feel naked without my evil eye bracelet on, to be honest with you. So that is what is coming up in the reading. A lot to process, a lot to dissect. I didn't think the reading was going to go this far, but I felt very much in the zone with this because... It's like a warning, fair warnings for armed. You know, take the messages, how they resonate for you. But somebody does not like the fact that you're going to level up to some form of success here. And you know that you're going to get to this level of success. You can feel it. You can feel it pulsating, resonating through your body, your mind, your heart, your soul, your spirit. And yet at the same time, somebody thinks that you're selfish or greedy or that you don't care or that you don't have any empathy. Hell, the Empress is all about empathy, you know, and um, they're trying to block you. Somebody's trying to block you here from this Ace of Coins and to prevent you from moving forward, that you're always going to be uh, codependent on this person or these people. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. And, and there's a lover here that could bring in false messages of love unexpectedly or say that they want to marry you, want to be with you. But listen, Scorpio, you got to stay five steps ahead of the game. Okay, you need to be go from this Empress energy into the chariot and bypass the BS energy of what this person or these people are doing. And just eventually when due time and things are set ready to go, then maybe you can feel like you can move on to, like I said, a healthier environment because nothing there's nothing better than the peace of mind, peace of heart. My awesome and amazing Scorpios, if you would like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant, Victoria, will book you for that personal reading. But until next time, take care.